Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Kaylee and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video and are joining us for class today. We are going to do a creative 60 minute hip release flow, but it will be dynamic and funky and really flowy. So my usual style, it's not gonna be a slow flow or anything like that, but we will focus on releasing the hips through the flow. Little backstory, I usually do our monthly calendar, as you know, and I missed the Wednesday upload this week. So it's called Sculpt Plus Flow, and my body just wasn't feeling a sculpt class. It was feeling really sore. I've been filming lots for our challenge and the online studio Afterglow. So I just needed to take a break. And thank you so much for understanding. You all are the best. So I polled on Instagram and asked if you wanted me to film a class this week that is a little bit more gentle, but still funky, creative, and fun. And most of you said yes. So here we are. I taught this class in person and everyone was on cloud nine afterwards, so I know that you're gonna love it. And if you work with props, you can grab them, but I'm not gonna cue any. And the Spotify playlist, it is a really good one, if I do say so myself. It is in the description, so you can play that while we flow together. All right, enough of me talking, let's get started. We're gonna start in a wide knee child's pose. So toes together and try to take the knees as wide as the mat or as wide as your body will allow. Reach the fingers forward, drop the head, let the shoulders relax. Right away, just start to deepen the breath. And can you deepen the breath without expectation of what it should look or feel like? Maybe these are the first deep breaths that you've taken yet today. The breath is one of those things that the body just does for us all the time. When we're sleeping, while we're eating, when we focus on something else, while we're just hanging out, we don't have to think about breathing. And that's why this practice is so special because we focus so much on the breathing, we connect it to movement, that it allows us to really tap in to the present moment, to be here in our body right now. If you haven't already, you can start to take ujjayi breath, slight constriction at the back of the throat, making the breath audible. And as you continue to notice how you feel, can you let go of any expectations? So expectations of how you should feel in this moment, as well as expectations of this class, of how your body will move. And commit to being present to experience everything that is here for you today on your mat without needing to change it, without needing to shift it. A lot easier said than done, but that's the goal. Let's take one more breath here. We'll hold it in at the top. Take a deep breath in. Feel the back body expand, feel the belly expand. Holding at the top, sip in a little bit more and a little bit more. And that last little bit, keep holding. And then exhale, you can make a sound, let it go. <sighs> On the next inhale, we're gonna come up and round through our cat cow. So we're gonna shift over towards the right, lean all the way forward, shoulders over wrists, come all the way through the left, and then push the hips back. So first few, you're sort of just making a circle. Eventually you can add sort of like a spinal roll in. It's kind of funky but it should feel good moving through the hips, the inner thighs. I feel it in my back. Beautiful, and then switch the direction of those circles. Also warming up the wrists here. Maybe you stay in any spot that feels good to just breathe. Beautiful. 
beautiful. And then coming through a neutral table, slide the knees a little bit closer together so they're about hips width. And then let's come onto the fingertips so palms will lift. Take a big breath in. Exhale, really tuck the chin in towards the chest as you round the back body. Drop the tailbone down, think cat pose. And then on the inhale, drop the palms, lift the gaze as you drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Exhale, tuck round, push into the hands, arching through the back. And then inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Beautiful, a couple more like that, rounding through your cat. Inhale through your cow. Last one. And then drop the hands down to the mat, neutral table, tuck the toes under behind you and then shift the hips back, shift the hips forward. All right, so starting to warm up through the feet Toes are tucked under. If you need to spread the toes out with your hands, you can go ahead and do so. Continuing to warm up here. Beautiful. All right, this time, send the hips back and then pull the right knee in towards the right elbow. Tuck the toes back under, send the hips back. Left knee, left elbow. Take it back, pull it in. All right, so firing up through the obliques. Core is engaged. This time, hold the right knee at the right elbow and then take some circles in the right hip. Circling away from the body. And then switch the direction of those circles. Beautiful. The next time the knee is wide in line with the hip, hold it there and then straighten the leg out. Take the right foot onto the mat. Push down through the whole sole of the foot and then bend into the right knee and extend the right leg. Continuing to work into the inner thigh, the outer hip. Feels so good, one of my favorites. And then land with a straight leg, keep the back toes tucked and push the hips back towards the left heel. Also stretching through the left foot, reaching the fingers forward, letting the shoulders relax, letting the face relax. Beautiful, on your next inhale, come back forward. On the exhale, take the right foot, right knee, all the way back behind, cross it behind the left, untuck the left toes, and then push the hips back. Gomukhasana, child's pose. Again, such a good one for the hips, especially feeling it in the glute medius, outsides of the hips, the glutes. Continue to reach the fingers forward, deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, shift back forward, tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes under, shift the hips back. And then inhale, pull left knee into the left elbow. Take it back, pull the right knee in. Take it back, pull the left knee in. All right, shifting forward and back. All right, we're holding left knee at the left elbow and then take your circles. So opening up through the hip. Bring some movement into the joint. And then switch the direction of those circles. Right toes are still tucked as long as that feels okay on your right knee. And then keep the knee wide in line with the hip. Straighten the left leg out. Take the left foot onto the mat. A couple times bend into the left knee and then extend through the leg. Deep breaths. Beautiful. And then the next time you land with a straight leg, stay there, push the hips back towards the right heel this time. Stretching through the inside and the back side of the left leg as well as the right foot. And the shoulders relax. Think about reaching the crown of the head forward as you send the hips towards the back of the mat. One more breath in, breath out. And the next inhale, come all the way up. And then lift the left leg, cross it all the way behind, left knee behind the right, untuck the toes, push the hips back. Gomu, child's pose. Right knee on top of left, flex the feet. If this is too much on the knees, you can shift forward any amount. 
Hips feel very tight. <laughs> One more deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful, inhale to shift forward. Exhale, tuck the toes, this time downward facing dog, send the hips high. Bend into one knee and then the other. You could shake the head side to side. Starting to notice how the back side of the legs feel. And again, you notice those sensations, those feelings without needing to change them. So maybe the calves feel tight, but that's just how they are in this moment. You don't need to change them right now, but you know that they're gonna shift in feeling as we move through class. Beautiful, come to a still place. Next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, take as many steps as you need to come to the top of the mat. Land with your feet hips width, take a soft bend in the knees and then let your torso hang. Hands can stay on the ground or you can take hold of opposite elbows. Finding your ragdoll, waking up the nervous system in this gentle inversion. Reversing the flow of gravity in the upper body. And then move through center, drop the hands to the mat, heel toe the feet together so that the big toes are touching. Slow as you can, one vertebra at a time, roll all the way up to stand, head and neck, last thing. Sweep the arms up at the top, gaze up. On the breath out, take the left hand onto the right wrist, slide your right foot behind you, little curtsy as you lean over towards the left. Big side body stretch for the right side. Inhale to move back through center. Switch the grip and exhale, lean over towards the right as the left foot comes behind you. Inhale to move through center, gaze up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back, first high plank. Send the heels towards the back of the mat, soften the elbows, gaze just a little bit forward so that the neck is long, core is engaged. Push into your hands and then think about squeezing the hands in towards each other without actually moving them. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga or all the way to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more cycles of breath here. Anytime we're in down dog, it's your time to reset, to come back to breath and body, to be here in this moment right now. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep all the way up to stand. Exhale, left hand to the right wrist, slide your right foot behind you, side bend over to the left. Inhale, move through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, through center. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Think about puffing up through the upper back, spinning the inner elbows to face the front of the mat. Sending the heels down, as long as that feels good on the legs, you could always keep a bend in the knees, especially if the low back feels sensitive. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step, maybe jump, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. One more time, left hand, right wrist, side bend over towards the left. Inhale to move through center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, move through center, gaze up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step, maybe float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, 
exhale. Next, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, step, maybe float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose this time, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Think about sitting low, knees together, or feet hips width. Bring more weight into the heels so that you can lift the toes off of the mat. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. On the next inhale, push into your left foot to pull the right knee into the chest. On the exhale, put the right foot back down. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, put it back down. Again, inhale, right knee into the chest. Use your core. Exhale, put it down. Inhale, left knee into the chest. Exhale, put it down. Inhale here. Exhale, fold over the legs, release. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step, float, chaturanga. Up dog to down dog. One deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, straighten the legs, square the hip off. Exhale, pull the right knee into the nose. Stay for the breath in here. Breath out, figure four, down dog. Cross your right leg over your left as you bend into the left knee and shift the hips back. Inhale, pull the knee into the chest. Exhale, shift it back, down dog, figure four. One more, inhale. Exhale, shift it back. Next, inhale, pull the knee into the chest. Exhale, step your right foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Hips square to the front of the mat. Push into the back leg and then roll your right hip back, left hip forward. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale here, maybe gaze up. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean the torso over the right thigh. Inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, airplane. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, airplane, hold, interlace the fingers, take a halfway lift. Exhale, humble warrior, right shoulder to the right knee, the right thigh. Think about reaching the fingertips towards the top of the mat, opening up through the shoulders, the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, rise, keep the bind. Exhale, warrior two legs as you take fingers to the left hip. Take a breath in here, think about lengthening. Breath out to lean back, left ear towards left shoulder. Inhale, reach the arms wide. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, suck the hip. Inhale, straighten the legs, square the hips. Exhale, pull the knee into the chest. Stay for the breath in. Exhale, down dog, figure four, cross the left leg over the right, bend into the right knee. Inhale, shift forward, pull the knee into the chest. Exhale, down dog, figure four. One more, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, shift forward, exhale. Step the left foot down, warrior one. Inhale to rise, sweep up. Exhale, square the hips to the top of the mat. Push into the right foot, core is engaged, low ribs in. Breathe in here. Breathe out to airplane the arms, lean forward, reach the fingers back. Inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean forward. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean forward, hold, and then interlace the fingers. Inhale here, puff up the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Keep the bend in the left knee, square the hips towards the top of the mat as you lean over the left leg. Reach the fingers forward, deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, rise, keep the bind. Exhale to warrior two legs as you take the hands to the right hip. Take a big breath in, think about lengthening. Breath out, right ear, right shoulder, opening up through the left side. Inhale, spine back to neutral, arms reach out. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms to the sky. 
Exhale, sink low. Inhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Exhale, cross it over, chair figure four. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands through the heart, and then twist over to the right, hook the left elbow at the right knee, right thigh. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to move through center. Exhale, twist to the left, hook the elbow at the foot now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, move through center. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, left knee into the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, chair figure four. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart and twist to the left. Try to hook the right elbow at the left knee, left thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale to move through center, exhale to the right, hook the left elbow at the right foot, or at the left foot now. Breathe in, breathe out, twist. Inhale to move through center, exhale, left foot down. Inhale, reach the arms up, chair pose. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step, maybe float. Back to down dog, however you get there. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose. Stay for the breath in. Exhale, cross right leg over left. From here, we're gonna drop the right toes and the left knee down. Child's pose, figure four, shift the hips back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next, inhale at the same time, lift the left knee, pull the right knee into the chest. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, airplane the arms, stay, interlace the fingers. Breathe in, breathe out, fold, humble warrior. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the left heel, hop it forward. Warrior three legs with the bind. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, land softly, bend into the right knee. Warrior two, hands come to the left hip. Breathe in. Breathe out, lean, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, reach out. Warrior two, stay for the breath out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, brief side angle, right forearm to the thigh. Inhale, reach back, triangle, straighten the right leg. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose. Stay for the breath in, puff up the heart. Exhale, down dog, figure four, push the hips back. And then take the left toes down, take the right knee down. Send the hips towards the right heel. Deep stretch for the left hip. Should feel good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next, inhale at the same time. Lift the right knee, pull the left knee into the chest. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean forward. Interlace the fingers and then fold, humble warrior. Inhale, lift halfway in the spine. Lift the right heel, pop it all the way up. Warrior three legs with the bind. Square the hips to the front of the room. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, slow and controlled. Bend into the left knee to take the right foot down. Warrior two legs, hands to the right hip. Breathe in. Breathe out, lean your right ear on your right shoulder. Beautiful, inhale, reach the arms wide. Stay for the breath out, sink low into the left leg. Inhale, reverse, reach the left arm back. Exhale, brief side angle, left forearm to the thigh. Inhale, triangle back straight in the left leg. Exhale, cartwheel down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale. Inhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Exhale, cross it over, figure four. Breathe in. Breathe out, hands to the heart, twist over towards the right. 
Inhale, move through center, and then twist to the left. Inhale to move through center. Exhale, right leg over eagle. Keep the hands at the heart for now. Take a deep breath in. Sink low, breath out. Next, inhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Exhale, fly through airplane, and then drop the hands. We're gonna hop it back to a one-legged chaturanga. Right leg stays lifted. So left toes hop back. Upward facing, downward facing. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose. Inhale here. Exhale, down dog, figure four, hold. Tap the right foot, the left knee down, push the hips back. Inhale, pull the knee into the chest, lift the left knee. Exhale, warrior one. Square the hips to the top of the mat as you lift up. Breathe in. Breathe out, airplane the arms, interlace the fingers, lift the left heel, hop it up, warrior three. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, come up to stand, pull the left knee into the chest. This time, eagle, left leg over, and stay behind you. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, keep the legs as is, just start to lean forward, feeling that stretch in the hips. Knees are bent, core is engaged. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Unravel the legs, pull the left knee into the chest. Keep the arms. Exhale, slow and controlled. Warrior two legs, hands to left hip. Breathe in, breathe out. Lean the left ear on the left shoulder. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, skandasana, the back of the mat this time. Right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Breathe in. Breathe out to turn towards the left leg. Plant the right hand. Inhale, open to a twist, left arm to the sky. Exhale, dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet. Two more like that. Inhale, lift your twist. Exhale, dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet, stretching through the left hip. One more, inhale. Exhale, dip the hips. Beautiful, inhale, lift your twist. Exhale, plant the left hand, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward, crescent lunge. Sweep all the way up, big breath in. Warrior two, breath out. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, side angle, facing the back of the mat. Inhale, triangle back, straighten the left leg, reach back. Exhale, prasarita, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, turn towards the top of the mat. Plant the hands, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, sweep the arms to the sky. Stay for the breath out, settle. Next, inhale, pull the left knee into the chest. Exhale, cross it over, chair figure four. Breathe in, breathe out, hands through the heart and twist over towards the left. Hooking your elbow at the left thigh. Inhale to move through center. Exhale, twist over towards the right, hooking the elbow at the foot. Inhale, move through center, hands stay at the heart. Exhale, eagle legs, left leg over, right leg under. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful, next inhale, stay low. Pull the left knee into the chest, then straighten the leg. Exhale, fly through warrior three. Drop the hands, we're hopping it back. Left leg stays lifted. One-legged chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into the nose. Breathe in, breathe out, cross left leg over right, drop the left foot and the right knee, push the hips back. Same time, inhale, knee into the chest as you lift the right knee, exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one, lift all the way up, sweep the arms up. Exhale, airplane the arms, interlace the fingers. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the left leg, humble warrior. Inhale, lift halfway, lift the right heel, hop it up. Warrior three, keep the bind. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Come up to stand. Exhale, eagle. Right leg over. Right, left leg under. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep the bend in the knees. Fold over your legs. Gazing forward, push into your left big toe. Next inhale, let's pull the right knee into the chest. Stand all the way up. Exhale, slow and controlled. Step it back. Where your two legs, hands to the right hip. Breathe in. Breathe out, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, open it out. Exhale, stay. Inhale, reverse, reach the left arm back. Exhale, skandhasana, this time back of the mat. Bend into the right knee. Left leg is long, deep breath in. Breath out, turn towards the right foot. Plant the left hand, inhale, open to your twist. Exhale, dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet, reach back. Inhale, move through your twist. Exhale, dip the hips, lean the heart towards the right thigh. One more, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, inhale, move through your twist. Exhale, plant the right hand, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, three-legged. Exhale, step the right foot forward, crescent lunge. The back heel stays lifted, sweep up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, brief side angle, right forearm at the thigh, left arm long. Inhale, triangle back, straighten the right leg. Exhale, fold over the legs, prasarita. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, turn towards the top of the mat, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let the shoulders soften here. Maybe you come down to a child, maybe you sit on the knees. Wherever you are, come back to your breath. We just did a lot of movement. So notice how it feels in the body. One more big breath in, big breath out. On your next inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip open. Take a big breath in, think about lengthening the right knee all the way up. Breath out, tap the right knee to the right elbow, hold. And then step the right foot outside of the hand, turn the toes to face out. Next inhale, open to a twist. Left hand stays underneath the shoulder, right arm will lift to the sky. Exhale, dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet and hold. So we've done this. We're gonna stay here or option, really push into the left foot and then we're gonna step the right foot all the way around to a wild thing. So core engaged, stabilizing through the left side of the body as you step the right foot back, lift the right arm towards the front of the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale to transition back, pull the right knee in. Exhale to step it wide, toes turn out. Right hand lands, left knee lands, untuck the back toes, we're in lizard. Breathe in, think about puffing the heart forward. Breathe out, keep a long spine, come down to your forearms. All right, so we made it to our static holds. You could shift a little bit side to side at first. Let the shoulders soften. And start to breathe even deeper into your right hip. Long, slow, deep breaths. How does this shape feel for you right now? And again, notice the sensation, the feeling, without the need to change it. We're told that we always have to fix ourselves to be different than we are in this moment. That's what the world depends on, what capitalism depends on. I won't get too much into that, but you are perfect as you are in this moment. And changes will come. That's the only constant in life. Changing all the time. But we don't need to fixate or obsess over changing. Let's take one more breath here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. 
On the next inhale, come all the way up onto the hands. On your exhale, let's push the hips back. Straighten through the right leg, walk the hands back, diagonal half splits. Curl the right toes towards the right knee, send the heel away from the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in. Breath out to fold the torso on the inside of the right leg. So now we're working into the back side of the right leg. Hamstring, calf, Achilles tendon. Let the shoulders and upper body relax here. Let the face relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next inhale, come forward, plant the right foot, tuck the left toes, hop it forward, Malasana. Heels in, toes out, hands to the heart. Can't have a hip opening class without this one. Let the shoulders relax, push the hands together, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back, come down onto the left knee, heel toe the right foot over to the left for pigeon. Come all the way onto the left, or the right hip rather. Hip square towards the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Keep the long spine. Walk yourself forward and fold over the right leg. You can make a pillow with the hands. Flex the right toes. Send breath into your right hip. Long, slow, deep breaths. One more breath here, deepest breath in, deepest breath out. Next inhale, come all the way up onto the hands. Exhale, lean over to the right hip and then sweep the left leg all the way around for full Gomukhasana. Stack the left knee on top of the right, flex the toes out towards the sides. On the in-breath, think about sitting up really tall, lifting the arms to the sky. On the out-breath, bend the right elbow, take the left hand to meet it. Find a tricep stretch. Option to stay here or reach the left arm down and around to interlace with the right fingers behind the back of the head. Take a deep breath in, breath out, fold any amount over the legs. Again, another deep hip stretch. Also stretching the upper body here. As always, think long spine. Beautiful. And then let's move through center. Reach both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, twist over towards the right. I know it's not intuitive, but I was taught to always twist the right first. So draw your right shoulder back. You can hook your hand on the left foot like I'm doing. Knees are still crossed. Breathe in. Breathe out. From here, keep the twist and start to walk the hands forward a little bit. So leaning towards the right hip. You should feel a deeper stretch in the left hip, the left side. And then we'll walk back through center. This time plant the left foot. Inhale the right arm to the sky, left hand behind you. Exhale, twist over towards the left. Draw the shoulders down the back. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale to move through center, reach the arms up and then lean back onto the sit bones to find a boat pose. Think about reaching through the fingertips, knees are either bent or legs are straight for a little bit extra burn. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing. One more big breath in, breath out, cross the ankle, step, float, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, deep breath in. Deep breath out. 
Next, inhale, lift the left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip open. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, pull. Left knee, left elbow, hold. And then step the left foot outside of the hand. Inhale, open to a twist. Left arm will lift to the sky, right hand stays planted. Exhale, dip the hips. Come on to the edges of the feet and reach back. So option to stay here, just like the other side, really push into your right hand and twist, reaching the left arm back. Or you can come to wild thing with me, strong through the bottom hand and foot, sliding the left foot all the way up and around. Behind the right, reach the left fingers forward when you arrive. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, let's move through side plank. Exhale to step. Left foot back forward. Plant the left hand, plant the right knee, untuck the right toes. Lizard. Left toes face out, knee is open. Puff the heart forward. And then exhale to release. Long spine, breathing into your left hip. Soften through the face. Maybe close the eyes here. You could always grab a block for support anywhere that you need it. Come back to the breath. How does the breath feel in this moment? And can you really feel it? Can you really experience it? Letting go of any stories, letting go of moving through habits. If we're on our mat a lot. We probably develop, or we do develop, a lot of habits on the mat. So check in, are you moving from habit or are you really experiencing the here and now? Anytime your mind is wandering or anytime your mind is alerting you that it's ready to leave the shape, can you come back to your breath? Commit to staying, even when things get uncomfortable, messy, hard, you are here. One more breath here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. When you're ready, inhale to come all the way up onto the hands. Lift the right knee, exhale, step, right foot forward, Malasana. Hands through the heart, press the knees away. Take a deep breath in. Breath out to take the left hand down in front of the left foot, open your right arm out. Inhale to move back through center, hands through the heart. Exhale, right hand down, or right hand down, left arm high. Inhale to move back through center. Exhale, plant the hands, step, right foot back, right knee lands, heel toe the left foot over to the right for pigeon. Come down onto the left hip. Think about lifting through the crown of the head. Spine is long. And then can you fold with a long spine? So gaze is the last thing to drop. Head is the last thing to drop. Keep squaring the hips towards the top of the mat. Keep the left toes flexed. And as always, if this shape doesn't feel good in your body for your knees, figure four is there. Either on your back, seated. Most important to listen to your body. Wherever you land, can you land there? Right away, committing to staying. Just 
Come back to your breath. Notice if you've lost it. When you're ready, on an in-breath, come all the way up onto the hands. Exhale to lean over towards the left and then sweep the right leg around, stacking it on top. Gomukhasana, full expression. Flex the feet, right knee on top of left. Think about lifting through the crown of the head, reach the arms overhead. Bend the left elbow in, capture with the right hand, find your tricep stretch. And then maybe stay here, maybe reach the right arm down and around to hook at the fingers. Push the head into the left forearm. And then when you're ready, start to fold. Leaning forward, deepening the stretch in the hips as well as in the arms. Beautiful. On an in-breath, come all the way up, release the fingers, reach the arms up to the sky, and this time, twist over towards the left, a gentle twist. Roll your left shoulder back. Option to stay here or work more into the hips. Keep the twist, lean over the left hip. Reaching the fingers forward, feeling that stretch throughout the right side of the back as well. And we'll come back through center, twist the other way. You can plant the right foot, left elbow hooks, right hand behind you, big breath in, big breath out, twist. Beautiful, inhale to come back through center, lean back, arms lift, Knees in front of you, come into your boat. You could be here if you're feeling a little bit tired. You could straighten the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, slow lower for four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down to your back. Take the feet wide, let the toes turn out. Reach the arms wide like you're going to Shavasana. We'll be there soon. Let the shoulders relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh through the mouth. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale to sweep the arms overhead. On the exhale, pull the knees into the chest as you circle the arms back towards the, th the shins, the knees. Make some circles, massaging out the lumbar spine. We'll do a bridge to just even out all of the forward folding that we just did. So when you're ready, set the feet on the mat, plant them about hips width, maybe a little bit wider, maybe set the feet forward if your knees are feeling sensitive. On the in-breath, you'll lift, push the hips up to the sky, squeeze the glutes, hands interlace underneath you, rock onto your shoulders and hold here for a few breaths. So we're doing the opposing movement to all of those forward folds, to our lizard or pigeon, that sort of thing. So now we're squeezing the back body as we open the front body. One more breath here, deep breath in. On your breath out, release the fingers, come down super slow, one vertebra at a time. Can you slow the breath down with your movement? Beautiful, once you arrive, gentle windshield wiper of the legs side to side. In one direction and then the other. Hips are feeling so much looser. Hope yours are too. Let me know in the comments.
And then the next time your knees go to the left, stay there. You could cross right leg underneath to deepen. Reach the right arm out and twist towards the right. So hips point towards the left side of the mat. And then you're trying to spin your chest up towards the ceiling and then gaze over towards the right fingers. So as always, our twists are coming from our shoulders, not our hips. Move through center when you're ready. Uncross the legs if they're crossed. Knees over to the right. Maybe cross, maybe not. Maybe just stack the knees. Reach the left arm long. Let the shoulders be heavy. Eyes can be closed or open. And your in-breath, move back through center. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Happy baby, knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky. You can rock here. Think about drawing your tailbone down to the mat, letting the shoulders be heavy. Stabilizing the spine, opening the hips one more time. Notice if you're clenching the jaw, can you let that go? And then moving back through center, just straighten the legs all the way up to the sky. Point, flex the feet a few times, roll out the ankles. If you have a block, you could grab it for waterfall. Always love to end class with feet lifted. So now we're reversing the flow of gravity in the lower body. So good for many of the major systems of the body. The feet might start to feel tingly by now. Option to stay right here. If you want a shoulder stand, take the hands down to the hips as you lift them and then lift the hips all the way up. I'm not going into my deepest version because of my mic, but go ahead and go to the deepest shape that you can in your shoulder stand. You could always stay down. I'm gonna come back down just so my mic isn't super loud. But you stay lifted, really push through the feet. You can point or flex the feet or do a combo. Maybe working the hands even higher up on the back. Thinking about stacking the body in one line. So the shoulders are the bottom, then the hips, then the knees, then the feet. If you are in shoulder stand, make your way to plow. If you have your legs just straight up and you're in waterfall, you can bend the knees in towards the chest. Start to bring some blood back into the feet. If you're in your plow, start to lower. If you're in waterfall, move the block. Lower the feet down one at a time. Lift the hips to move the block out. And then we're making our way to Shavasana. So walk the feet out if that feels good. You could also keep the knees bent. You could move to Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet together, knees wide. Hands rest anywhere on the body. That feels good. Let the shoulders relax. Let the face relax. And then invite the feeling of deep relaxation into every single part of the body knowing that you are supported in this moment on the mat, in your space, and that this part of class, of practice, is just as important as every other component. When we rest in stillness, after a workout, after yoga, it allows the body to reset the nervous system and better integrate everything that we just did into the muscles. And leaving us with that sense of calm. So just like with everything else, if the feeling of relaxation feels far away, it's 
stay, sit with the feelings that are here, notice them, experience them. Let them go without attachment, without needing to change them. And simply invite relaxation to you. So you're here, just chilling. And that feeling will come to you as long as you're open for it to be there. Breath is returning to its natural rhythm. Maybe to stay present, you simply follow the breath in and the breath out. Again, without needing to change the natural rhythm. What is it like right here, right now? Experience that. There's so much to experience in each moment. And all we have to do is be here, be ready to receive and experience it. Take a slow, deep breath in and a slow, deep breath out. When you're ready, you can start to wiggle hands, feet. Eventually reaching the arms overhead, finding a full body stretch. And then roll to one side, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keep the eyes closed on the transition or close them back down when you arrive. Sit up tall, draw the hands to the heart. Final moment to connect, to be here with you. And one more time, ask yourself, how do I feel in this moment? And again, without needing to change it, it doesn't have to be amazing, it doesn't have to be wonderful, whatever you feel right here, right now. It is a gift to be fully present and experience that, whether it is positive or less positive. Let's take a final breath together. On your exhale, clear out all of the air from the lungs, big sigh. In breath. Big breath in, hold at the top, sip in a little bit more, and a little bit more, and that last little bit, keep holding. And then exhale, you can make a sound, let it go through the mouth. <sighs> Draw the hands up to the forehead, finding that feeling of gratitude as always for being here, for showing up on your mat today, and anything else that comes up. And together we say namaste. Awesome job today. I hope you absolutely loved that class. I know my hips are feeling so much better after it. So like I said, please let me know in the comments if you did like it, suggestions, all of the things as always. We are hosting a challenge at Afterglow Studio this month, October. So it starts the 18th. Registration opens the 11th. I will put some more info on it in the description and I would love for you to join. It's focused on gratitude, lots of vinyasa practices and meditations, journal prompts, and we have a bunch of really amazing prizes from brands that I love and use every single day. 
So, more info in the description. I'm releasing more also next week on Monday on registration day and reach out with any questions. All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.